How's it going everyone? Mask here, back with some Black Desert Mobile. I'm late to the party today, it's patch day, my favorite day of the week, and the Whisper Mill has been crazy. I've been trying to keep my head down all day, uh, not, not have too many spoilers for myself, but let's dive into these patch notes and see what we got in store for us. June 16th, patch notes. Uh, update, gear awakening. This We've been asking for this for so long, this is such a massive massive update at at the um gear awaken has been added awakening weapons and armor will greatly increase their base ap and dp the following gear can be awakened red gear ultimate laverdo ultimate grunnel ultimate rosar ultimate kite and three slot mystical grade gear so all your gins all your laverdos all your grunnels and all all your rosars and of course the random kite shield that they call the shields story a new power, Dark Knight, uh, greater strength, enter the camp. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what we are looking at here. Oh, this is just showing you going towards Gear Awakening. So in your story, you have greater strength, enter the camp, go to Forge Gear. Awakening locked for this gear. So so your main hand, your off hand, your helmet, your chest, your gloves, and your boots, you need to actually finish quests in order to unlock the ability to awaken this gear. Preparations are needed in order to awaken. You must first complete the Gear Awakening quest line in the story menu. There are six quests to complete in order to clear this quest line. The quest can be accepted by going to Camp, Blacksmith, Forge Gear, Gear Awakening. You will only be able to accept one quest at a time. To awaken any gear, you'll need to you need the gear you want to awaken as well as silver. Enchantments, crystals, and enhancement levels will be retained when awakening gear. That's good to hear. Those are super annoying to have to redo. Laverdo, ultimate Laverdo Craigmiser, and it gets this uh, cool orange border around it. Revert your awakened gear to its pre-awakened state. Reverting gear will not change the enhancement level crystals and normal enchantments. However, gear with awakened enchantments cannot be reverted to their pre-awakened state. I don't know why you would ever want to revert gear to its pre-awakened state. Yeah. You can also revert an awakened gear back to its original state. Go to camp, extractor, remove awakening to revert it back to its original state. Awakened enchantment can now be implemented to, a, to awakened gear. Awakened enchantment offers stronger AP and DP stat than the normal enchantments, but requires more resources to implement. As you can see, it's 3,000 essence and 540,000 silver a click. That's pretty intense. Uh, update. Family blessings. Family blessings update. Additional experience. 50% family blessings have been applied. Family blessings have been added. It will grant experience buffs to all characters except... The highest level character in your family. That's actually really cool. Log in with a character that's not the highest level character in your family to receive a 50% experience buff that applies to the following areas in addition to normal quests and missions. Normal field hunting, black spirit mode hunting, field of valor, nightmare, ancient ruins, and boss rushes. Family blessings will be applied to a character until they reach the same level as the highest level character in your family. Use family blessings to grow your whole family since it will apply to all the other characters until they reach the same level as your highest character. Update, that's nice, except for right now we're kind of in an experience push on our mains, so we're not gonna actually use that a whole lot, but gearing up alts, leveling alts, that's gonna be great. CP analysis suggestion. Uh, CP analysis suggestion has been added. I think we already had this. Current CP uh, is five, your CP is five higher than those of a similar CP group. Passive skill, skill training, gear, character, stats. The system analyzes your CP against those of other adventurers who have similar CP. The system can be accessed after completing a giant boss in South Southeast Calpheon Chapter 5. The icon to access the system will appear beside the minimap. The CP analysis suggestion system shows you various ways to raise your CP, which is displayed in a single organized screen. The following information will be displayed. Areas where your CP is higher than others with similar CP. CPs, <laughs> areas where your CP is lower than others with similar CPs, tap check CP on the right side of the window to see a detailed breakdown and analysis of your CP. Tap on CP analysis suggestion on this check CP screen and vice versa to easily switch between the two. So just hopefully, this is nice. I, I, I hope they do develop this part of the game more and more and more because this really helps people progress. Kind of pointing out this is where one of your weak spots is. Work on that. Update, Tower of Trials expansion, fantastic. Floor level 46, 
is the highest floor now. So we're seeing 16 new floors, including at least another 40 boss stamps that they're introducing at floor 45. That is massive to be getting every single day. You want to stay on top of that. Floors 31 to 46 have been added. Update a new function for your convenience. Auto enchant. Interesting. Um, restoring enchantments. Restore or don't, don't restore. Auto enchant settings. The auto enchant system is added. Once your black spirit reaches level 65, you can use auto enchant to continuously enchant your gear until you get the enchantment you want on that gear. That's pretty, that's pretty convenient. Uh, auto enhance is something I would love to see in the game. That's something that should be coming pretty soon as well. Changes to the main UI. This I did notice. I was looking for the button I needed to click to feed my skill books and I couldn't find it. So I need to look a little harder. It's been moved and I'm sure it's not that hard to find. But in the couple seconds before I jumped into this recording, I simply could not. Changes have been implemented to the main UI. The location of the guild and skill buttons have been changed. Battle related, battle related UIs have been split into three types. And you can choose which type of icons are displayed from the main UI. Im improvements. Dark energy. Uh, actually, let's, let's take a quick look at this uh, UI update. See if we can... Uh, Something about battle, blah, blah, blah. Can you give me... Skills. Okay, I can get to my skills here. I can deal with that. Tasks, rank, everything else seems pretty straightforward. They've just relocated some things. Some some uh, quality of life buffs to like guilds here and there. Camp, some camp prompts. Nothing super, super crazy. Black Spirit Mode, when uh, Dark Energy, gear that cannot be equipped because of unmet requirements will no longer be shown in the Dark Energy menu, meaning gear that you clearly need to progress into. Black Spirit Mode, when logging back in after Black Spirit Mode ends, you will no longer log into the area you were last adventuring in while in Black Spirit Mode. The results screen will now display the area where you were adventuring in while in Black Okay, so you could log out of, you could go into BSM, for example, in an area that is too strong for you, or too weak for you, and uh, in the Black Spirit mode would say, do you want to go to Hashra Ruins? Because we think Hashra Ruins would be a good fit for your current CP, and you could click yes. So what they're saying is you'll now, you will no longer log into the area you were last adventuring in, the results screen will now display the area where you were adventuring in. You know what? I can't fully make heads or tails of this, but it's either one or the other. You're either going to be logging into the area you were actually farming, or you're logging into the area that you got logged out in. Whichever one it is, fantastic. I'm sure some trial and error can make heads or tails of that. It's not critically important. World Boss. The Use All button has been added to the raid scroll so that large numbers of scrolls can be used at once. Raid scroll? Use all button, raid scroll that has to do with world boss. Whew, right over my head. Help me out in the comment section. Help me out. Uh, I, this one I actually have no idea. Uh, unless this is something brand new, they just introduced raid scrolls. UI, family quests will now have the text family displayed to make them more recognizable. Exa example, good friends one. Family, good friends one. Uh, cool, actually. That means you can only do it once per family. The pearl shop button has been added to the hidden golden vault screen. The show slash hide weapon function for the striker has been added to the inventory screen. Bugs, fixes, and other changes. Arena, Ramonis. Applied fixes to address the issue where characters would occasionally move out of the map in both Arena and Remote. Characters would occasionally move out of the map. That's how you're going to word it? Okay, fine. Uh, hopefully this means strikers can no longer throw us out of the map. I do believe that's what this is addressing. What a way to word it. Applied fixes to address the issue where characters would occasionally move out of the map in both Arena and Ramonis Arena maps. System. Applied fixes to address the issue where the game would sometimes forcibly close when launched after an update and fix the issue in Ascension quests where the faraway traps were not visible. Camera. Fix an issue where the camera would not rotate after activating the gladiator's shield block in certain areas. Camp. Fix the issue where the craft wagon button would overlap with the with other UI and camp trading post. Pets fix an issue where with pet presets where the list of pets would sometimes be displayed incorrectly. UI fix the issue in fuse lightstones window where the UI would overlap in some languages. 
not one I've ever bumped into. Guild, the war vote function has been added. Guild masters and guild officers can start and end a war vote. In the guild war menu, enter the name of the guild and tap war vote to start a vote. Once a vote has been initiated, all guild members will be shown a screen where they can cast their vote. This is actually really, really cool. Uh, prior, I've, been, I've tried to do these votes in Discord, kind of manually on my own, but now that we can actually be like, hey, do you want to war this guild? And get a quick poll from your actual guild members who are logged in and online, instant feedback, and for guilds that don't have a big Discord community or a secondary community communication-wise, which is totally fine, that's uh, t tis their own. Uh, this, this is a good in-game mechanic to actually be able to poll your guild properly and get some feedback saying, hey, do you want to vote? Do you want a war? Because there can be a lot of friction, tension created in guilds with masters or officers declaring war when not all the members want to. This should help keep everybody on the same page, which is great. That's a solid quality of life update. New events, Forgotten Labyrinth of the Ancients. Forgotten Labyrinth of the Ancients, interesting. Ending events, Hammer of Fortune Part 2, gone. All the Ramonas World Championship stuff, gone. Pearl Shop stuff we'll get into later. Let's jump into game and check out. Actually, do we have a, a couple of these? Ooh, close this tab real quick. Boom. Uh, patch note. Uh, uh, Siege War. Patch note. Pearl Shop. Forgotten Labyrinth of the Ancients. Let's go. Update notice complete. Fantastic. This is the only one to really shed some light on. Are you brave enough to explore the ruins? Forgotten Labyrinth of the Ancients. Challenge up to five levels. Push past your limits and receive great rewards. Cracked ancient tablets, which will be used to enter the ruins, will be sent to your mail between 0,1200 and 1,800. Uh, yo! I forgot about this. This is sweet. Um, you could get little baby Kabua pets or something. Last time they ran this, this was uh, these five floors. And at the end, end of it, you fight uh, quite a difficult apparition of a, of a character in game. That's fantastic. Once you clear a level, you can choose to advance or receive the current levels. If you choose not to advance, yada yada. If your character fails, you can start again from the beginning, no problem. And uh, check out check out the Cracked Agent tablets, which should land in your mail. Stay on top of that. Fantastic. Now, taking a quick look in game, we have uh, this cool little new tab here. Just kind of giving gives you some C some CP feedback, which is pretty cool. And uh, Forgotten Labyrinth of the Ancients. Time remaining. Uh, between 12, the cracked ancient tablets are sent to your, between 12 and 1800. 1800 is six hours away from reset, which is 10 p.m. Eastern. So hopefully it doesn't mean I just missed my tablet. I may have just missed my tablet for today. Uh, very, very possible. Rewards for the predict champions event. Would you look at that? Gotta love picking up some free pets. Um, I think it's very possible that I missed my tablet for today, unless they didn't send one today, which is uh, very unfortunate. And uh, event-wise, you got to exchange, merchant tree daily, stay on top of your total completes for that. Uh, and that's it for events, there really wasn't much, so they're giving us, they're bringing back the ancient, forgotten labyrinth of the ancients. This is a really important event to make sure you're doing every day. So make sure you're checking your mail between 1200 and 1800 server time. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for today's patch notes. Awakened enhancements. Let's pop into the camp real quick and take a quick gander at them before we sign off here. I'm gonna have a lot of awakened enhancement enhancing to do in the next few hours. Uh, yes, you get there's so much CP to gain. I've seen some crazy numbers. When I logged in, it's like you guys did not get that high. What is what is going on? Uh, my blacksmith is down here on the right. Gear awakening. So I gotta I gotta get these quests. Twelve thousand enemies, ancient ruins eight or up times five, collect abandoned iron mine ore times six thousand. What? Awakened Helmet, Boss Rush level 25 or up, times 10. Collect Omar, Iron Scrap, times 4,000. Maybe these are just um, quests, and then you go kill the mobs, and the mobs actually drop the quests. Like an OG MMO quest. That's kind of cool. And defeat World Bosses, times 3. So I definitely missed the World Boss earlier today. 
the unfortunate reality of these five hour patches on a regular work day for me when I do get called into work are really awkward because the patch ends at 9 a.m. when I start work and if I'm and if I don't have any ability to preset the game up because it's the game is literally launching it's it's coming up and being ready when I'm starting work you don't really have time to get it if you can kind of set this game up running beforehand it's easy to pop in and check on it remote sometimes people team view back to their pcs at home and uh check in on their emulators and uh, the, this is nothing i can't have any of this kind of stuff set up nor can i even really have it ready on my phone when i when work is already going in full swing but that's how it is today uh i do my best actually tuesdays i normally book tuesdays off but everyone's just getting back to work right now uh, it's my first. This was my first shift in quite a long time, so I couldn't really say no. Um, patch day, awaken enhancements, massive, massive CP gains for everybody, which is really cool because we have so many new zones to try to take advantage of this new CP to farm. But let me know how your awaken enhancement has went today. I haven't got to do any yet. Wish me luck. It, there's going to be some intense awaken enhancement grinds coming up. Uh, Hopefully I can I want to bank. I want to I want a huge CP jump. I'd love to see 7k. 7k is the dream. Uh yep. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned tomorrow my my cash shop review and market predictions are coming out tomorrow. Hopefully I see you again. But until then, smash that subscribe button and stay classy.